A warm welcome to you, my dear students. Sales Journal. Sales Journal. After the Purchases Journal, we are going to study the Sales Journal. That is the second prime book that we are going to take in Unit 10. Children, Sales Journal. Sales Journal. Sales Journal. All right. In the previous video, when we talked about, when we discussed about, when you learned about, Purchases Journal. What did I say about the Purchases Journal? Anyone who remembers, can you tell me? Purchases Journal, what is it about? Why do we have it? What is recorded? Anyone? Okay. Purchases journal is used. We have purchases journal, we maintain it to record the credit purchases of trading goods. Trade goods. Trade goods or trading goods. Credit purchases, all right? Not if you purchase goods for cash. If you purchase goods for cash, you bring more and more goods to the business, right? Those goods, if they are purchased for cash, those transactions go to the cash book, not the purchase journal. Only credit purchases. Without paying money, you purchase goods and on credit basis, that's the meaning of credit purchases. Those transactions go to the purchases journal. Now, this one is the sales journal. What transactions are recorded in the sales journal? Easy. Credit sales of trading goods. Easy, right? When a business sells trading goods, okay. When a business sells trading goods on credit, such transactions are first recorded in the sales journal. Yep, that's it. That's it. When we sell goods to our customers, not for cash on credit. Got it? We sell goods. Here you go. Have a nice day. Do come back. We sell goods. Do you treat your customers like that? Oh, hi, hello. Hi, good evening, madam. You have a you have a fantastic day. Here you are. Come back. Please do come back. Do you treat your customers like that? Well, you should. Out of jokes, you should. Customers, customer is the king. If you are doing a business, customer is the king. That's it. Okay, that is the bottom line. You don't ignore the customers. You don't treat them roughly. You treat them very softly. Customer satisfaction is one of the main objectives of a business. We learned in the first unit, lesson number one, objectives of businesses. Objectives of businesses. Customer satisfaction is one of the main objectives, main aims. Increase customer satisfaction. That's how you increase customer satisfaction. All right. All right, all right. Okay, back to the lesson. When we sell goods on credit, we don't take cash from the customers. Um, we give them a credit period. Right, Madam Sure. Um, if you if you um, if you are not willing to pay now, when can you pay? In six months? No, 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 no
I can't give you such a long credit period. I can't wait for you uh, for six months. Two weeks. Yeah, you have to negotiate with your customers. All right. You give a credit period to them and you sell goods on credit. Those transactions, selling goods on credit, go to the sales journal. That's right. Okay. So remember, when selling trading goods, an invoice is created. Invoice. And obviously, you know that these customers, that madam who bought, who, uh, who bought the goods from your shop, to uh, whom you sold the goods, she become a debtor to you, to your business. Not to you. She become a debtor to your business. All right. Then those debtors owe you money. Those debtors owe you money, the, the amount that they purchased. Okay. You record those debts or amounts that they that they took or the amounts or the values of the sale you have done you record those sale transactions in the sales journal by using the source document that is the sales invoice okay this document is known as the sales invoice. Sales invoice. The business retains a copy of the sales invoice and this invoice is the source document for recording transactions in the sales journal. Just like I mentioned just now. This document is the source document um, Yeah, to record transactions, these transactions in the sales journal. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Now, mm, oh, they are talking about trade discounts too, but we know how trade discounts are calculated and how trade discounts are recorded. We know, right? How trade discounts are recorded in the accounts. We know, right? Right? What did I say? How trade discounts are recorded in accounts. We know, right? And you also, I saw you nodding. You were like, yes, yes, yes. We know how, how trade discounts are recorded in accounts. Yeah. Yeah, trade discounts are recorded in accounts. Yeah, the, 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 the way and the, uh, the uh, method we have done the trade discounts to record trade discounts. Trade discounts are not recorded in accounts. Remember. Okay. The price mentioned in the invoice may also be reduced by a certain percentage. May also be reduced by a certain percentage. Uh, when selling on credit basis, yeah, this reduction is a trade discount, not recorded in accounts. You just calculate the trade discount amount, the discount amount, the discount value, and you deduct from the original price, and the net value is taken. That net value is recorded in the uh, sales journal. Okay, super. Let's go forward. Transactions recorded in the sales journal are posted into the ledger periodically. This period can be one month, sometimes one week also. The sales journal and the purchase journal. The journals are totaled or summed up at the end of a period. That period is maybe at the end of one month or it can be at the end of one week. That is a period. It depends on different different businesses have different different 
policies okay transactions are recorded in the sales journal and they are posted into the ledger periodically and we have one example right here following invoices with net values are issued by amar singh's business amar singh modalali's business they have issued these invoices huh okay they are buying and selling consumer goods you know biscuits chocolates and milk powder and uh rice and dal and uh, cheese butter chocolates and those things consumer goods amra singh's business these net values all right so we don't have to worry they have given net values one ratna the customer's name is ratna two kumar again ratna then mahanam indika again mahanam again indika we have sold goods to these customers let's see how um with the invoice numbers let's see how these transactions are recorded okay these invoices these invoices okay yeah 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 that's it uh we observed the question the entire question now let's see how the transactions are recorded sales journal is here okay each and every invoice have been recorded see invoice number 35 ratna 5000 go and see invoice number 35 ratna 5000 done invoice number 36 kumara 12000 This is done. Kumara twelve thousand. Invoice number thirty six. Uh, date is mentioned thirty six. Kumara twelve thousand. That is also recorded. Next we have invoice number thirty seven. Ratna again eight thousand. Ratna is seems like a regular customer, huh? huh? Yeah. Okay. Ratna eight thousand invoice number thirty seven. That is also recorded invoice number thirty seven. Ratna again eight thousand. Likewise, all the invoices and relevant uh, customer names and amounts are recorded we have 30 uh 13000 17000 6000 and 7000 13 17 6 and 7 13 17 6 and 7 all recorded in order in order of the invoices did you notice that in the order of the invoices see 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 in the invoice book from the first invoice from the first invoice which is issued second third fourth fifth sixth seventh all the invoices are recorded in order and all the sales to all the customers are organized nicely in the sales journal total sales at the end of the month is taken that is the sum total of all these individual sales amount sum total it's 68000 don't forget to write this sentence what is the sentence credited to the sales account what is credited the total sales total sales of the month yeah credited to sales account
wait i'll show you if you still didn't notice i'll show you here you go credited to sales account this is the sales account right an individual amount one two three four five six seven individual amounts should be debited to you know don't look at me like you don't know you know of course individual accounts individual amounts should be debited to individual accounts so ratna's account kumara's account mahanama's account indika's account individual accounts okay so the total credit credited 68000 is debited into individual accounts one by one here you go ratna's account 5000 and 8000 Ratna five thousand, eight thousand. Then Kumar twelve thousand, and that's it. Kumar only one should be debited to Kumar's account. Here it is, Kumar's account twelve thousand. Description should be sales, sales because in the sales account the description is debtors. In the debtors, in debtors accounts, description is sales. Logical, right? Do you see the connection? Do you see the connection? That is the connection. Yeah, double entries we have learned. In debtors accounts, description is sales. Okay, sales. In the sales account. description is debtors okay likewise mahanama 13000 and 6000 finally indika um uh, that's that <laughs> about the sales journal uh, children my dear students i hope that everything about the sales journal is clear to you okay remember that the sales journal is used only for recording only for recording credit sales all right all these are credit sales ratna we have sold on credit all these are debtors to us you know nay karyo nay karyo nay gati that's the singular word credit sales to debtors okay Now we are going to go straight to a activity and finish it off the sales journal okay here we have activity number 3 activity 3 in your textbook with a little birdie flying in the sky okay yeah all right following is the file of source documents of nirmali's business file of source documents file of source documents what do you mean by file of source documents huh file of source documents what do you mean by file of there is a file of source documents children file it's a file it's a file of source documents because all the documents source documents are filed they are not thrown here and there get it businessmen the shopkeepers the cashier 
when they issue a source document the bill book with the signature when they issue a source document likewise when they issue source documents the original is given to the customer and the copy is kept right kept in the business yeah um, better if you can take all the source documents the copies of source documents and file them in a file the same type of source documents in one file another type of source documents in another file all right likewise you keep the source documents file this is the file of source documents in nirmali's business see these source documents are issued by nirmali's business nirmali traders maharagama uh -huh. Okay, Nirmali must be a you know a textile shop. Oh no, you don't have televisions and computers in textile shops. No, this is a computer shop or an electronics shop. See, see, television sets and computers. So it should be a must be a electronic shop it doesn't matter whatever the shop is it doesn't matter okay nirmali traders it's in maharagam they have issued to gayashan center okay to gayashan center to gayashan center nugegore they have issued nirmali's business has issued issued what issued this source document to gayashan center so nirmali traders is the seller nirmali nirmali is the seller you get what i'm saying right nirmali traders is the seller yeah okay and um, sold to Gayashan center this invoice in the point of view of Nirmali this invoice in the point of view of Nirmali this invoice is a sales invoice you can think of you can I mean realize that right if Nirmali is the seller sold to Gayashan center and Nirmali has issued this um, invoice the sales invoice then this must be a sales invoice of Nirmali okay we have the date children we have the date second of march we have the description of goods one and two television sets 10 computers 10 sold to gayashan center and unit price is given so the total is calculated here also total is calculated okay total is calculated likewise and there is a trade discount see there's a trade discount Wow, what a lucky ah, business this is. This is a lucky business. Which business? Gayashan Center. They have got a big discount. Gayashan Center has got a big discount from Nirmali. How much is the discount? 45,000 big discount. And that is subtracted and the net value is taken all right let's go ahead another source document issued by nirmali traders maharagama same business all right nirmali traders maharagama same business 
Now they have issued the, the this invoice to Nilushan Center. Nilushan, uh huh, that's a familiar name. Uh, Nilushan, you are watching, right? Nilushan. Yeah. To your shop. You have bought goods from Nirmali traders. Mm -hmm. How much did you pay? Nilushan, tell me. How much did you pay for these goods? How much did you pay when you bought from Nirmali traders these goods? Come on, Nilushan, tell me. You paid 114,000. This amount, 140,000 did you pay? Okay. Well, if you say that you paid 114,000 when this transaction was made, when goods were sold to you by Nirmali traders, if you, if you are saying that you paid, that's a lie. Don't lie now. You haven't paid yet. These are credit sales. These source documents, sales invoices. I should for credit sales, okay? Fine, fine, all right, Nilushan, uh, pay attention, okay? Cassette recorders, 20 cassette recorders, my God. This must be a antique shop, <laughs> yeah? Who's selling cassette recorders? Cassettes? Have you even heard about cassettes? I don't think so. You haven't heard about cassettes. Cassettes were, you know, a very hot trend back in the 90s, 1990s, <laughs> yeah? By the end of 1990s, in 2001, 2002, 2003, CDs came into the world, yeah, even before that. So, Nilushan has bought cassette recorders. I don't know, must be an antique shop. 3,000 is the unit price. And 20 of them, 20 of them. So, total is calculated. Radios, 30. At 2,000 uh, 2, each. So, the total is calculated. And another trade discount is given, children. That's great. Trade discount is given. That's great. 5% and that is deducted. Okay. Net value is taken. 114,000. 114,000. Yep, we have another source document that is also from Nirmali Traders. This one too issued from Nirmali Traders. Nirmali, 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 Nirmali. Nirmali is the shop owner. Okay, yeah. She has issued this source document to Dilshan Center, Dikwal. Dilshan Center, Dikwal. It should be Dikwal, right? Should be Dikwal. Yeah. It's a sales invoice issued on. 18th, yeah, uh, photocopy machines 8, 50,000 each and total is calculated, television sets 10, 20,000 each, uh, so 20,000 into 10, total is calculated and no trade discounts to Diljan, Diljan doesn't get a trade discount, why is that, uh, what did Diljan do to you, Nirmali, poor guy. No trade discount. 
we don't know why right what do we have to do prepare the sales journal using the following format okay let's get to it yeah let's draw this format top line date column invoice number description or customer name value column and ledger page headers done let's name the columns sales journal date invoice number customer name value in rupees ledger page that's it simple format all right let's go to the first invoice and record it here activity three blue skies source documents of nirmali's business first source document sales invoice all right sales invoice yeah two types of goods television sets of hundred and fifty thousand computers of three hundred thousand what do you do how do you take these items do you take one by one huh one television sets hundred and fifty you take that to your sales journal ah television sets all right all right listen watch and learn television sets 150 mm -hmm. then go back to the invoice again computers 300,000 and you deduct the uh, trade discount mm -hmm. first you record computers no first you record television sets then you record computers is that how is that how you record no 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 children that's not the way that's not the way you take the total final net value of the invoice the, the final total or the net value of the invoice let's go to the first invoice Gaya Shan Center is the customer this is the final total or the net value of the invoice where is it here it is the final net value should be taken into the into the sales journal yeah 105000 to gashan center on 2nd march all right let's record the date 2nd march gayashan center gayashan center right center yeah gayashan center 105000 done 105000 it's done recorded nothing else to be taken no nothing else to be taken we are moving on to the next invoice normally traders have they have 
sold to Nilushan Center. Nilushan was watching, right? Nilushan, your transaction. Final total or the net value, final net value. 114,000. Who is the customer? Nilushan is the customer. Nilushan, 16th March, 114. 16th March, Nilushan Center, 114,000. The final total of the final net value. Okay. Next, uh, we recorded Nilushan's 114 also. No worries about that. Next, we have Nirmali traders sold to Dilshan. Aha, uh -huh, this guy did not get a trade discount. So, this final net value is 600,000. 600,000. 18th March, Dilshan Center, 600,000. 18th, Dilshan. Six hundred thousand. There you go. That's it. We have only those invoices. Yeah. Dilshan. Six hundred done. Illusion. One one four done. Recorded. Then the first one is Gayashan. Four hundred four hundred five. That is also taken. Let's total this sales journal at the end of the month. And don't forget that we have to prepare the ledger accounts too. Let's total, let's total, let's total, let's total. Um, it's 600,000 and Six hundred plus. It's ten lakhs, five thousand. Eleven lakhs, nineteen thousand. That is the total. Uh, one point one nine million. Oh, all right, all right. I'll do the addition, uh, adding this. This. I'll take the sum in the traditional way. Zero 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 zero, 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 zero. five plus four. Nine here one here eleven. Okay. It's eleven lakhs nineteen thousand. Let me make it clear to you. Ah, huh, okay. One point one nine million. Yeah. Oh, you can say eleven lakhs nineteen thousand. That is the total. You write for the total this sentence credited to sales account. Credited to sales account. You have to write that. You have to write this sentence, okay? Just like you write this sentence uh, to purchases journal. In purchases journal also you write debited to purchases account for the purchases journal. But for the sales journal, you write credited to sales account from the journal to the account. This total, okay? Now let's credit to the sales account, right? Oh, forgot something. Date, 31st March, the last date of the month. 
Here you go, children. We have one account for sales and three accounts for the three customers. There you go. This is the sales account. And these are the customers' accounts. Gayashan, Nilushan, Dilshan. Debtors. Debtors, children. They're debtors. Of course, debtors. Debtors. Trade receivables. Trade receivable. That is another name. Debtors. That is the common name. Nayagathyo is the common Singhala name for these customers who owe us money. Yeah? First, let's credit this to the sales account. To the sales account. Let's credit. Credited to sales account. What is the description? Yes, let us. Let us. Don't forget the debt. Always something that I mentioned. Always. Don't forget the date. Okay. Right, sales account credit. That's done. Then each of the Individual debtors amounts should be debited to individual debtors accounts. Each of the individual debtors amounts, debtors, debtors amounts, amounts of individual customers should be debited to individual accounts. Did I draw the arrow right? No. It's on to the credit side. Should be debited. Should be debited. 405. Debit side. What is the description? Description in the data accounts, children? Sales. Put the date. Next. Next data. Nilushan. 114. Description is sales. Next data. Dilshan. 600,000 sales do not forget the dates well that's it okay right children uh, this is how you finish a sales journal question using the given sales journal format. Uh-huh, we used the same format. Date column, invoice number, customer's name, total value column, and the ledger page. It's not that important. Finally, we have finished Two journals, purchase journal, sales journal. Remember, sales 
and purchases both journals must only the both the journals must only have credit sales and credit purchases you do not record cash sales and cash purchases um, furthermore for your um, convenience for your reference i'll just write this sentence only record credit sales yeah all right credit sales um total sales is credited to sales account here and individual amounts are debited to the individual debtors accounts likewise all right this is a, a full view of your question so children um i hope you got this well there's nothing to get there's nothing to get actually you just watch and learn and do more questions that's it yeah all right um until next time children be good do your work exam is close by yeah these are questions which can appear on your paper on your business and accounting paper to prepare a sales journal to prepare a purchase journal with the ledger accounts okay remember journals are prime books ledger accounts are ledger accounts journals are prime books ledgers means ledger accounts and there are only two prime books which also considered as ledger accounts which are considered as ledger accounts those are cash book and petty cash book not these journals got it fine so then i hope to see you very soon children with the general's journal and we'll finish off this lesson we are closing little by little to the end of the syllabus be happy be good do your work Hope to see you soon. Thank you very much.